Kid Gear here. Uh, well, it's an Apple Tech episode. Basically, uh, you know, this pertains to Apple technology. I'll soon be starting one for Microsoft, you know, for you Windows fans out there. I'll just be doing, uh, but for today I'm going to do, uh, Apple Tech. Uh, Apple Tech. It's not anything like Mac versus PC. All solely for Apple. So, uh, today's topic is on an update for, uh, so while you see the MacBook upgrade, you see the MacBook Pro, but what about a special vendor out there uh, by the name of Axiotron? That's pretty much uh, with in partnership with Apple to sell these things that they've modded. They have the rights to mod by Apple, and they I'm pretty sure they split the profits between Apple and Axiotron. The thing is called the Mod Book. I'm sure you've seen it, and if you haven't, I'll leave the picture. I'll, I'll sneak a picture in right about here. And I will also leave video links for the pictures. So, uh, the, uh, basically the ModBook is a MacBook, so like your regular MacBook, sli uh, basically instead of the laptop, it's kind of like it's a tablet PC. Your, your uh, screen is moved to the, where the keyboard, where your keyboard would be, your screen is there. So you're losing, uh, you're not, I uh, like the quote that was in a Macworld magazine, you're not losing a keyboard and a mouse. You're gaining, uh, you're gaining freedom. Now, what you're getting here is you're losing all the wires, and you're gaining a touch uh, interface using a stylus pen. Uh, it's a pretty decent pen, and you can It's a has nice, elegant. It's, it looks like aluminum type of uh, touch, and has a little nice slot for you to insert right in the bottom. You'll see what I mean by in the picture. So it's running, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure if it, look. With, I think it was first released with Tiger. But it's, you know, and I think now, yeah, you can run Leopard on it, but it has your basic uh, MacBook base. It has all the ports on there and has all that stuff over there. You have your, your CD drive, and you still have your built-in webcam. Now you have your power button and stuff on the top left. And then, like I said, it's a really hard, the screen itself, it's not like your regular LCD. It's a really hard uh, outer shell. It has a, like, a protective top on it, so it's really, really tough and like a type of, type of glass on the outside. So the screen is really, really protective. Uh, so you can write all over it and stuff like that. Not really, you know, it doesn't really get scratched easy. It's not like an LCD when you press on it and stuff like that. So it's touch integrated. Uh, basically, it's really great. It's a MacBook modded. That's it to sum it up. But it's been upgraded lately. Uh, so if you bought it just about two months ago, as the article says here from Engadget, you know, you're kind of out of luck. You know, there's a lot of stuff like that. You always got to look out for the rumors, guys, what's coming up, because a lot of people had that last time when they got their... You know their Macs, the power, uh, the G. You know the power PC Macs when they switched to Intel. Like somebody bought an iMac, I heard one time, and like the next day they announced the Intel switch. So really look out for the rumors and wait before you buy something if you know something's coming up, especially like a processor switch or something like that. But you know if uh, two months may seem a little longer, so really look out there if you if you know anything about it and you don't you know wait that period of time just to see because. Uh, for the mod book, it's not really huge, huge changes, but it's pretty, f it's faster and has more space. But you know, it's not like a, a whole like design change or anything like that. Basically, uh, they upgraded, you know, the w title technology. You know how it upgrades along the way. They Axiotron upgraded it from a 2.1 gigahertz uh, to a 2.4 gigahertz. So, you know, three gigs, three gigahertz faster. So it went from 2.1 to 2.4, kind of like how the MacBook is. It has the Core 2 Duo configs with one, either a 120 gigabyte hard drive or a 160 gigabyte hard drive, so you've got more space for your, uh, you know, your. It's built more for a graphic design, like I said, it's a tablet PC, more graphical art, and you know, if you're on the go and you like to use a tablet, and then it's your, uh, you know, the, it's still the base model. The base model's price stays the same at 2,290 bucks, but it still has a 2.4 gigahertz. Config will run you up to two thousand four hundred eighty dollars. So, costs a little more, but it is granted it's faster and it has you know with the upgrades of the MacBook and the MacBook uh, Pro, you know they had to upgrade the Mod Book obviously. Like I said, Mo Axiotron is in partnership with Apple. Uh, I'm I'm guessing that they have the new Penrin processors in. I'm not sure. So, but yeah, so now you have a speed boost with that. So if you're looking into buying a, a Mod Book, now would be your best time to buy it. So like I said, check out the pictures and stuff like that. Uh, I'll drop as many as I can in the video and stuff. And check out the video links to your your right, my left. I mean, my right, your, you know, it's, it's inverted. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is a little talk on Apple Tech. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, like the channel. 
It's always great to have another a fellow subscriber along board along board. And thanks for watching.